Now, Mel, you've mopped the floor, you've wiped the benches, done the dishes, but research shows there can be still more bacteria in the kitchen sink than apparently in a toilet bowl. So just how clean is your home? Well, our Melbourne correspondent, Nola Hafter, found our family willing to put their kitchen to the test. Nola, oh, I don't want to know about this sometimes. Were you surprised by the amount of germs there? Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's funny, isn't it, that we wouldn't go to a restaurant where the kitchen didn't pass the most rigorous hygiene test yet in our own kitchens, and I know I'm guilty of this, you know, you just get a little bit complacent. And I know I'm not alone because when I asked for volunteers to come forward and have their kitchen swabbed, uh, there weren't very many responses. I did find one lovely fam family. Take a look at the results. You hoovered that down like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Anna is like most busy mums. Anyone with, with kids, um, especially at this age, would know you are just flying by the seat of your pants on a daily basis. She and her husband Andrew try to keep their home clean without becoming too obsessive. At the end of the day, you want to spend time with your kids and your family, so come the weekend, it's not, oh, let's get the mops out and start cleaning. It's let's go out and enjoy each other's company. I try to keep things clean, but I would be very curious to know... <laughs> <laughs> or I'd be horrified to know how unclean it actually is. And she's about to find out. Anna has very bravely agreed to let healthy home expert and author Nicole Belsma do an audit of her kitchen. That means taking lab samples from all the problem areas. <laughs> where, does the, where does this go? In the compost? The sink and dishcloth. The sink tends to have more bacteria than most toilet bowls. And in particular, you'll find the dishcloth because it's used to wash dishes, to wipe down the sink, benches often wipe up from the floor, maybe a child's, you know, hands, etc. That it, the cross contamination is a big problem. Bench tops. Wherever you're preparing, particularly raw meat or uncooked meat, then that's going to be a plethora of different types of microorganisms. Fridge handle, and just one more. Did you get it? Swab bunny. Sure. For no mothers problem. around Australia who worry about the comforter that only gets washed when you can surgically remove it. Let's find out. While Bunny has an anxious wait, Nicole says at low levels, not all bacteria is bad. You just don't want the foodborne illnesses, um, the bacteria such as Salmonella, Listeria, E. coli, and those sort of bacteria because of the fact that they can cause gastro and other types of disorders. Fast forward three weeks and the tests are back with some shocking results. Very high levels of bacteria on the sink, dishcloth, fridge handle and on bunny. But most concerning of all, we found E. coli on the sponge and that's a concern because it indicates it's been contaminated of, from faecal matter which can pose a serious health risk. Not what you want to find, but according to Nicole, not uncommon. Based on the research, yes, they're pretty typical for a kitchen. In a kitchen you've got pets, you've got kids, you've got books, you've got food, you've got everything. What was your reaction to the results? Horrified, horrified, but I actually found it quite educational and it made me feel like, okay, I know now where those hot spots are so I can actually attend to them. And Nicole says the answer isn't harsh chemical cleaners. Using chemicals to get rid of bacteria is not recommended. You want to physically reduce the levels, you don't want to chemically mutate them. Um, because then you can develop um, strains of bacteria that are very difficult to get rid of, uh, which could be more pathogenic and, and far more serious health risk. Instead, she recommends a good microfiber cloth, some elbow grease and common sense kitchen hygiene. Keeping pets out of the kitchen, never defrosting meat at room temperature and cleaning dishcloths daily. A handy tip is to pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds or in the dishwasher. As for Bunny, he's in for a scrubbing. Can we give Bunny a bath today? Yeah. Oh, my God. Can we do it now? Yeah. Now, I hope people aren't sitting at home going, well, my kitchen wouldn't have been that bad because, you know, Anna, they are a normal family with normal practices. And she said she racked her brain about that dodgy sponge and she'd actually wiped oh. a counter in, in the pantry and then they found a mouse, so it could be mice droppings. But, you know, there are so many different practices that we learned to went, oh, my goodness, I don't do that, I don't do that, I don't do that. Well, so if you want more information, you can head to our website. Good. There's a link to Nicole, and she's got so many different I was going to ask tips. that, because we defrost meat at room temperature all the time. You just yeah. whack it out the freezer, put it on the side of the cupboard.
And when was the last time you wiped the fridge handle? I don't think I ever have. Mm. And also leftovers, not good to um, eat them after two days, rice one day, all these, you mm. know, lots of really oh. good tips there. Explain why I've been sick for a week, OK? Well, my leftovers, I mean, where would you be without leftovers? Yeah, and aren't germs meant to be good for you, boost your immune system? That's my theory. That, yeah, <laughs> but that's not also maybe it's some germs, isn't it? Okay. Not all. Good all right, Thank you for that. We'll all go home and clean our kitchens. Yeah, all the details on the website.